Hey everybody, Max coming here, Slater Cute Podcast, not too long. Alright, now I uh, know it's been uh, it's been about nine days since my last podcast, and I know last time, uh, you know, I uh, I said I would, uh, you know, make more podcasts, and, uh, you know, well I, well, I didn't, you know. I'm back on my crack pipe. I'm back on that crack pipe. Oh, it tastes so good. Give me that crack. Give me that. Once the crack hits your lips, you're just like, oh, fuck making podcasts. I'm just going to smoke crack. Oh, anyway, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, I just didn't, uh, I just didn't really feel like it, you know, pretty much every day I was just like, oh, I don't fucking feel like doing anything, man, I don't want to, comedy, what, what's the point of doing comedy anymore, huh, what, I'll never, I'll never be successful and go, what's the point, what's the point of doing anything, man, hey, I just been, you know, kind of feeling like that, like, what's, really good? what's the point, what's the point of doing a podcast, man, nobody, you know, I've been doing this podcast for, I don't know, what year is it right now? I don't know, four, four years, five years, I guess, I don't know. Four, I guess four years, I guess? Four and a half years? Can't even remember. Can't even remember, to be honest, you know, that that whole two-year uh, two year COVID thing kind of messed up my time. I don't even, I don't even remember, like, my life anymore, you know? Yeah, so anyway, uh, you know, of course, I've had, I've had no success at all with the uh, with the podcast there, you know? Of course, there was that one time last year, the one uh, Tzitz, Tzitz sits. he shared the, uh, you know, I got 300 new subscribers, but, you know, I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't really able to uh, keep even, I guess, I guess if I could have kept 10% of those subscribers, that would have been, that would have been good, you know, but uh, I think I only, out of the 300, maybe I got like three, maybe like one, I guess that's all right, 1%, and I, I appreciate you guys, the three of you that stuck around this year, you know, listen to me complain about my life, you know. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks for helping me with my therapy sessions. You know, you guys are great listeners. If I just if I just have any problems, I know I can always come to you and you'll be a good listener and you'll and you'll listen to my and you'll listen to me and you'll comfort me. Um anyway, you know, so um Yeah, it's just that and then I don't know, even even the shows out here in Tokyo, like all these people are doing shows. I'm not getting I'm not getting invited to any of them, you know? I don't know, I guess I guess everyone just thinks I suck. I don't know. Or maybe they just don't want to be around me. I think that could be it too, you know? That could be it too, you know. It's like, oh yeah, Kevin oh he's pretty funny, but I don't really like hanging out with him. And I think that's a lot of uh I think that's mostly Mostly the problem there, you know. Hell um, anyway, uh Yeah, I don't know. I just been uh I just been uh just been uh, just been uh, just been uh, a little a little frustrated with comedy, a little frustrated with comedy recently. I've just been thinking about, it. Well, I mean, what's the point, man? It's not making me any money. I'm losing money. When I do comedy, I lose money, you know. And uh, I should, I need to be making money. I need to be doing things that make it, that make me money, you know. I've just been thinking about my job too. It's like I don't even make any money, you know. I make the same salary as I did ten years ago. Every person I know is more successful than me. It's fucking bullshit, dude. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Um, anyway, uh, so I don't know, it's just been, I've just been, I've just been losing my motivation. I've just been losing my motivation, dude. You know, I need some, I need some liquid motivation. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if alcohol had no, uh, negative, negative side effects at all? Wouldn't that be great? Why can't they make an alcohol with no negative side effects? Fucking, it's 2022 right now, man. We got, we got the, we got the Easy Bake Oven. We got the... We got the iPhone 14. You're telling me we don't have alcohol with no negative side effects? Fucking bullshit, dude. I just want to get fucking drunk every day, but never get hung over, dude. That'd be great. That'd be great. Um. Anyway, uh, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, I guess we'll talk about some fights here. Okay, the last podcast I made was before uh, the UFC there. Before Jiri Prochatska versus uh, Glover Teixeira, and man, that was uh, that was probably that was definitely probably the most exciting fight I've ever seen. You know, not 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 like the best fight. You know, not like uh, it's like oh my god, look at that guy's skill. That guy's so good. Oh my god, this fight is is like because both of them were just making a lot of mistakes. You know, they were both. <laughs> it was not peak performance for either of them. You know, like. <laughs> But that's what made it exciting, you know, because because like you're like, oh my god, that guy's gonna win, and then oh my god, oh my god, no, that guy's gonna win, and like, and then it's like, oh my god, that guy's gonna win now, and it's like, oh my god, it's like every round, it's just like, oh my god, who's gonna win? Oh my god, <laughs> oh man, and fucking old man, old man Glover to share, he was winning, 
he was a win in the entire fight, man. I think I had him. I mean, you could argue like he he won every round almost. You know, I I, I can't remember. There might have been a couple rounds that uh, Jerry Prochatska took the advantage there, but uh, they were they were both just taking damage, dude. They were both taking damage there, and it was gonna be you know, old Matt Teixeira, He was gonna win. It was in the it was in the fifth round there, and he definitely won three out of the five. Three out of the five rounds. He was, he was 30 seconds away from beating a, beating a young rapscallion. Young samurai rapscallion. And then he gets choked out. He gets... <laughs> Jir Prochatska chokes him out. He beats the old man with his weapon, you know? Because the old, old man to share, you know? Jiu-jitsu, that's his weapon there. And, uh, and Jiri Prochatska used his own weapon against him, you know? I don't know. It, it kind of like... I feel like that whole fight, like, it was like... Uh, I felt like maybe Jira Prochatska, he was trying to, he was, he was trying to do, do like a Goku. You know, he was trying to like test himself. Like he wanted to, it felt like the whole fight, like because it ended that way, like he was just messing around. Like he was just, but I mean, of course he wasn't messing around because his face got all fucked up, <laughs> but it, 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 it kind of seemed that way. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, I was just messing with you, old man. I plan to submit you with, with 30 seconds left in the fifth round from the, the whole fight. I was just going to. I was kind of trying to test my jujitsu, you know. It kind of seemed like what he was doing, but uh, yeah, man, mo- probably most exciting fight I've ever seen in my life. I don't, I don't, I can't think of any other fight that's that was more exciting than that one. And again, I, uh, I don't want to say the best fight ever. Definitely not the best fight ever, but the most exciting fight I've ever seen. Like, uh, man, I was on, I was on my feet the whole time. I was like, yeah, how about, how about I do, how about I do, you know? Anyway, uh, check it out, check it out. Jerry Prochatska versus Glover, old man Glover to share. Um, then of course uh, this week we had uh, we had uh, Calvin Cater versus uh, I don't know what's the other guy's name, fucking bald dude with terrible tattoos, who's old man. And uh, you know I had a five way parlay. I uh, I bet ten bucks to win forty on a five way parlay, and four four out of my five guys won, and the only guy that didn't win would. I was most sure of was Calvin Cater. And, uh, because the fucking judges, man. The judges owe me 40 bucks, dude. They stole my. I'm here, a five way parlay. I mean, uh, what are the chances of a five way? I mean, just like 50 50, that's 1 in 32. You have a 1 in 32 chance of winning just by 50 50 odds, you know? And here I am, four out of my five. Four out of my five fighters won, and I'm watching this fight between. Josh Emmett and Calvin Cater, right? And, you know, I watched the whole fight. It's my Sunday morning, you know? The fight's over, and I'm like, all right, well, Calvin Cater clearly won that fight. My 40 bucks, and I'm I'm sitting in my chair, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I just won 40 bucks on a five-way parlay. I'm a fucking genius, dude. And then they announced the winner. It's like, Josh Emmett, what's, John, what the fuck? What are you talking about? He didn't, oh, uh, yeah, I was fucking bullshit, dude. Messed up my five-way parlay. Good goddamn judges. Like, okay, I could see maybe you gave... Round one, round two to to Emmett, or round one and round three to Emmett. That was clear victory. For, and maybe round two. Maybe round two you could give it to Emmett, you know. Maybe round two. But I still give it to Cater, you know. But then round four. Round four was clearly a victory for Cater. Clearly a victory. And then one, one judge gave round four to Josh. It was fucking bullshit, dude. That goddamn corrupt judge owes me 40 bucks. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. Yeah, God, those MMA judges, I don't know if they're incompetent or corrupt or what it is, man, but, God, they need to do something, man. They need to do something. Those guys suck ass. I don't know, what are they looking at exactly? I don't know, I don't understand, man. They owe me 40 bucks. That's what fucking sure fucking bullshit, too. Any hoot. Any hoot. What else we got going on right now? Oh, cryptocurrency is collapsing. Oh, finally. Oh, oh, what do you mean? The, the thing that's literally nothing and has literal no value? That went up to sixty thousand dollars. That's, I mean, it's still twenty thousand dollars, which is insane itself because it's uh, it's fucking nothing, and uh, it has no value at all, and uh, the supply is infinite because it's just a computer program, and the supply of computer programs is infinite because they don't exist, you know, but uh, but yeah, those those are definitely twenty thousand dollars, you know, even the, that's the collapse price is twenty thousand dollars, you know. I was like, oh my god, there's nothing. It's $20,000 now. I can't believe it. The price collapsed. Oh yeah, because it's nothing. What did you think was going to happen? I just can't believe how many goddamn dumb people are in the world, you know? How is it How is it that $3 trillion 
uh, of dumb people's money got got uh, is wrapped up in these crypto. There's still a trillion dollars left in cryptocurrency. Hopefully, all that shit goes to zero. People can stop being goddamn morons. You know. Anyway, uh, I hope none of my listeners. Hope you guys didn't lose any money on the crypto. If you lost money, don't worry. You know, you can. That's now you know how I feel. You know, except I made I made a good decision, and uh, was uh, was denied because everyone else is dumb. And plus, global banking mafia is uh, is conspiring. Is conspiring against me to keep the fiat currency scam going. You know, uh, that was, well, that was kind of a mistake on my part. Oopsies. Oopsies. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't have tried to fight against the uh, global banking mafia. But, you know, you people that buy in cryptocurrency, you're not fighting against anything. You're fighting against the intelligence, the collective intelligence of the human race. You deserve to lose everything. I'm glad you lost everything. Now you can share in my misery. You know, maybe this is why no one listens to the podcast. I think this is probably, this is probably, let's try to keep it positive, guys. Let's try to keep it positive. <laughs> All right, it's Monday. Well, anyway, I'm going to go to work now. Thanks for listening, man. We'll see you tomorrow.